Oh, you ready? <laughs> Megan gives, wait, the Tesco value, strawberry and banana smoothie, A and A-OK. -okay. Okay. An eight out, out of ten. Eight out of ten. Fantastic. Four stars. What was that? <laughs> stay. Stay. I hope you want to sit. I just need to sit when I went there. You want to hold it? Because I'm holding oh, it. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> Megan is so scared at the moment. Oh, it's like a packet of Smarties. Right, stop, stop, stop. Okay. Okay. Wrap it, we haven't introed it yet. Oh. Hello everyone! Hi. Bonjour, nine. Can we do that again except without my hand? Yeah. <laughs> Pardon me, sorry. Hello everyone! Hello! <coughs> and we sorry, are <coughs> obsessed with the dog. <coughs> Ow. And we are obsessed with the dog. Uh, yeah, so we are doing these things, and they're basically like little like sheets of paper with questions on. We'll do buzzers. Don't lick it. We'll do buzzers. We we'll just did like <gasps> I'll ask you each. One. What is that? Something invisible. This passing over there and money. Yeah, it's fine. Oh my god, question. how weird is that? What? There's a 20p on one side of my leg and there's a 20p on the other side in exactly the same space. That's Megan, just pick it up. Yeah, but what if it was that whistle over there? I'm not picking that up. There's two questions on the sheet, mate. <gasps> there's two sheets. <gasps> Be quiet. There's two questions on the same sheet, so just ask one of us one of them and the other the other. Oh, that's cute. Okay, Rowan, who directed the James Bond film Skyfall? <laughs> Quentin Tarantino. No, Salmon. Yes. Which comedian has a UK TV called Chatty Man? That's really Alan Carr. That's so easy. So this one is from the car. What is the name of the film series based on the novel of Suzanne Collins, set in the future nation of Pan Am? I know, I know. Future armor. That was gonna. Right. Just want to say, I haven't seen this film, but it's Hunger Games. Yes. Name the 2013 British drama series starring David Tennant and Olivia Coleman. Doctor Who. No. Oh. The Broad Chat. Oh, well, no, Broad no. Chat. I thought it was Doctor Who. TBH. Tuberculosis. Right, Megan. <laughs> What's going on here? Tuberculosis. <laughs> In which movie did Robert De Niro play a character called Travis Bickle? Uh, Reservoir Dogs. Taxi Driver. Oh shit, yes. That's close. Oh, Reservoir Dogs right. isn't even one of You should films. get this, Megan. Okay. Which TV channel broadcasts the period drama Downton Abbey? BBC. ITV, <laughs> Jesus! What is the name of the British film company which started producing horror movies in the mid 1950s? I should know this just because of the media. Like, we get talked about this shit all the time. I don't know. Paramount. Hang on. I've never heard of it in my life. No. Okay, not. Rowan. Okay. Complete the title of this hit show. Call the. Midwife! <laughs> no! <laughs> I knew that! That's not fair! That's not fair! Right, Megan's going first. Okay. So, one, one, zero, Megan. Lord. Okay. The madness of King George tells the story of which British king? King Henry. Are you stupid? <laughs> you should go wrong. <laughs> the film King George. The madness of King George. That is the film. <laughs> tells the story of which British <laughs> king? King George. Yeah, yeah. but you. I thought it was a trick question. No, no you're wrong anyway. You have to get the number. And you, have, you have to get the number. It's George oh, okay. the third. Which actor played the lead role in the TV series, uh, TV show Cracker? I've never seen the fucking thing. Tom Cruise. Robbie Coltrane. Nice. Cruise Coltrane. Train Cruise. Right, so ship. you're first. Yeah. Ship train. Ship train. Okay, right, ready? Yeah. You should get this, Rowan. Okay. Who plays the title role in the Iron Man films? Robert Downey Jr. Yep. I wouldn't have done that anyway. Uh, who wrote the classic TV show Only Falls and Horses? Only Falls and Horses. Oh, I was watching Rock and Chicks the other day. Is that when they were younger? Box. 
Wrong box, no, it's John Sullivan. Close. <laughs> By the way, wrong box is an actual person, I just guessed. <laughs> we couldn't guess. John Belushi and Dan A. Coyard star as musicians in what? 1983. The Blues Brothers. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's right! That's right! <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, Jordan, calm down. No, you did it wrong, I'm only joking. No, you did it wrong. <laughs> Jeremy Beadle, Harry Hill and Lisa Riley have all presented this comedy show. Name it. Oh, um, you've been framed. Yeah! <laughs> so 2-3-0. Who did Sue Barker replace as host on the BBC show, uh, quiz show, A Question of Sport? Mandy Mann. David Coleman. What 1981 British film tells the true story of two athletes in the 1924 Olympics? I don't know. Uh, Chariots of Fire. Never heard of it. Chariots of Fire. How do you get the easy ones? Like, go. Easy. Jon Snow is a fictional character in which TV series? Yeah. Jon Snow? Yep. Let me have a little, let me have a little butchers in my mind. Um, Everyone is like shouting at you. I don't know. John, uh, John Snow is in Game of Thrones. Oh, I don't watch it. Thirties. Oh. I was gonna say thirties first. I should have gone with my first instinct. Which film made in two thousand and eleven is about a fifteen-year-old girl raised by her father to be the perfect assassin? I don't know. Karate Kid. That's all I know. That's a boy. Yeah, but I don't know. I've never seen it. <laughs> the first thing that came into my head was Kick-Ass, but it was Hannah. Complete the title of this hit comedy, The Mighty... <gasps> Smoosh! Is that it? <laughs> it's Boosh! Oh, it's Boosh! I knew it was something like that because I love it. Smoosh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really annoyed me. <laughs> In which reality TV show would you associate Tom Jones? I know who it is. Casualty. I'm walking away. The Voice. Yes, The Voice. I never watched The Voice in my life. Yeah, but you should know who Tom Jones is. During which World War was the Disney film Bambi released? That's not fair. I know. I know this. World War Two. Yes. Which explorer presented the hit BBC Two show oh, Tribe? Oh, I know Meg. this. Yes. Bag Can I? Yes. Who? Bag It wasn't. Oh, Bruce Parry. Never what is he doing? Oh, we had a twinning moment. Right, ready? This is you, Megan. It is me. Name the film based on a true story about a group of Yorkshire women, Yorkshire, Yorkshire women, who produced a nude calendar raising money for the cunt. That cunt? <laughs> it's what the actual word is that makes it worse. What? Charity. <laughs> nude calendar. Oh. Are you going to guess today? Or? Is it just like nude girls? <laughs> no, which it is. I don't know. Calendar girls! Shit, yeah! I knew you had it, didn't I? Nude girls! <laughs> Top of the Pops was broadcast on which Jimmy Savile. for over 30 years? MTV. No! BBC! On which evening? Oh, evening! Oh. <laughs> Friday! No. Saturday. Thursday. What was there hanging off the edge of a cliff at the end of the film? Me. Italian job. Me. A car. No, oh. it was a coach. <laughs> oh, I'm so close. Who directed the 2013 British psychological thriller Trance? Oh. No. Danny Boyle. I never heard of that. Alan Davis and Stephen Fry appear in which comedy, comedy panel show, which I am love? I don't know. QI. QI? QI. What's that? So IQ. I've heard IQ, but... It's called QI. The film Love Actually is yeah. set during which holiday period? Christmas! Yes! Wait, what are our scores? Mine's four. I think I've got three? Three? Four? I've still got zero. Yeah. <laughs> Who wants to be a millionaire? Yep. First aired on ITV in which year? 1996. Eight, 98. I think I, I don't think Anyway, that. if you enjoyed this video, do let us know down in the comments below and don't forget to like. Oh, comment. Come on. Subscribe. Peace. Well, Peace. Uh, Peace. Uh,
Mr. Buff. I didn't know how to do that. 